Yeah. So, um, what we we'll do today, uh, what I've already done actually, because the guys were lazy to get up at 4 a.m. So, at 4 a.m., um, it's called Suhoor in Ramadan. That's when you wake up and have um, breakfast, if you like, to get ready for the day. We still have to sleep, but um, before, I think it's about 5 past 4 a.m. now. It's time to go eat, but before that, I like to do what we'll do. It's like a ritual washing um, before, before you pray. Normally, normally I'll have um, something much heavier than this. Probably sometimes I have rice or and chicken, and pasta, and a whole lot of stuff. But after a week or so, my, I think my appetite for food has gone down massively. So I just keep it simple and basic in the morning. Now after you, you jump on the mat. That's a pretty map. And the logo there is in June. They've done a lot of work for us. Muslims in, the, um, in England and around the world during Ramadan. So I use that. I use that map to travel to all their games as well. It's the whole travel box. That's where the map goes. The water bottle. My teacup. My favorite every year. The holy water, Zam Zam. And the weed. Very important to worship God. Gotta be clean, smell nice, look good. That's why you can Friday it for, for prayers to the mosque. People, the teammates are not Muslim, the fans ain't Muslim, most of our friends are not Muslim, so sometimes you sway towards that the opposite side. And Ramadan just basically, for me personally, knocks me back because like, I've got a, a lot of time to reflect on myself and my religion. So it makes my, my beliefs much stronger. And the club has been very helpful uh, to me on a day to day basis. Um, I say it's now. Uh, most of the players are basically on their way to training and I still got another hour before I go in so they give me extra time to sleep. Um, I'll, you'll see later on as well, I'll finish again and then I'll come back to rest. And on game days, same thing, away, away days is amazing. In the hotel I get food to break my fast, I get breakfast delivered at 4am, I get dinner at 11pm, so everything. It's pre-planned before Ramadan. I went back to bed at uh, 5 a.m. and then now I'm up, getting ready for training. I will be training today because I'm a bit injured, but you'll see how the day goes on a normal day of Ramadan with football. Do this walk every morning. I think I've covered most of my mileage from here today. Especially when I go to Tesco shopping and, and I forget to buy carrots. I don't come out running. But I'm on my mini motorway on the way to training. Um, <coughs> we've got to get petrol so on the way. So everything, the price of everything has gone up. So yeah, I've got to do this petrol top up every day, literally. The season has been a roller coaster, isn't it? Uh, I think I enjoyed it. It was my first proper pre season with Sunday. So when I signed last year, it was near the end of pre-season that I signed. So this pre-season was my first one. And uh, I enjoyed it. We worked hard, very hard. Um, started the season. Um, we were a joke, man. We were a joke. It was beating everyone. The games were enjoyable. Um, we had some really good players. We still got very good players, but we had, we had a squad that really worked together. We struggled, we struggled a lot, and uh, I've struggled a, a bit as well personally. I picked up a few injuries in the way. You know, my finger still don't bend. <laughs> I snapped my finger, and um, I'm struggling, struggling with my hip at the moment. 
but I've been struggling with it for for over five months. And uh, at the time, we didn't really have enough players, so everyone had to do their bit, which is a positive and a negative. Mentally, I think I've learned a lot personally. Because uh, you know when you go from the season starting off so well, and then drastically declining a lot, I think it, it, can, it can mess you up mentally, but for me, I, I just see it as, I just see every game as a game, man. That's, that's what it is, isn't it? And if you don't win, then you go back to the drawing board, and we've done that a lot this season. We're about halfway training now, so it will be a bit of a surprise when we get there, because everyone's, everyone had already been there and had their breakfast, and they might even be doing pre pre-activation for training, or even maybe a meeting. So if we go there and they're doing a meeting, so we just go and sneak in through the back doors. Conditioning program. It's a bit confusing. All I see is four minutes, four minutes, four minutes, four minutes, four minutes. <coughs> but um, what it is is four minutes on this assault bike and four minutes on that machine. Don't know what it's called. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Four minutes on the bike again and then four minutes rowing, but 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We'll come back here for the third time. And then ski. ski. We'll be doing skiing. Skiing. <laughs> With the skiing machine. I <laughs> think it's that again. Well, yeah, overall, it should be 40 minutes, and then we jump into doing a bank press and whatever we want to do for the day. See him behind you. It's a montage for him getting fit. That's what I thought. So they go, yeah, walks into the gym every day, walks around about five times and goes on. I've got my scan tomorrow. I'm preparing for that. You know, you know when you do bike before your scan, yeah? It makes the results better. I struggled with, with um, cramp near the end of games. So I think it's still at the 75th minute onwards. Not every game, but most games, yeah, <coughs> struggle with cramp. Not enough cramp to get me off the pitch. But after games, it takes me long to recover as well. It takes me about two, two, three days to get out of my legs. Um, I would say, since I started using that, I haven't really struggled with crap during games and my recovery's been better as well. I got to bed early and um, there's this Hadrid 78 night product that I use before sleep, which helps recovery for everyday training. Because normally, well before I started using it anyway, when I wake up in the morning, I had to just chuck down a bottle of water or two to get hydrated, but now I just rely on the the night product and in the morning as soon as I get up I take the day one with a bit of water gets me ready for training because in Ramadan the period that I've got to eat to recover is small it's only at night so I break my fast sunset as soon as I break my fast I take the product because I'm, I'm dehydrated during the day yeah, I think the one thing that soon done done that stood out was um, they sat me down before Ramadan and they asked, um, they asked me what I needed to make the month easier for myself in terms of everyday training and travelling for, for away games. So what's been done, they gave me um, the licence to come into training much later than everyone else, which enabled me to sleep longer. And then 
after training. <sighs> On my way home, I will take a pack, pack lunch. Saves me from staying up and cooking extra meals at night. And for, most importantly, away games, which was hard in the past in my previous clubs. Um, they've, they organised for me to come down later <clears throat> to break my fast. I think it's a product that if you want to see top results, you got to use it consistently. It takes a while for me, well, it took a while for me to start noticing difference. I think over a week or so of taking it, taking two every day. And everyone, everyone takes products anyway, but I think this one is, is top notch. I would recommend for anyone to use it. So basically, we've done um, upper body cardio, which I, I don't usually do during the season because I'm always training, isn't it? So I had to do upper body. And we've done a bit of upper body strength as well with my. One of my favourite interns, Ruben. So now we're headed over back to the training ground. Possibly get a get a program today for the rest of the weekend, and then we'll head over to the mosque. So, um, we've already done training and everything, and it's, it's Juma day, Friday. So when, every time when it's Juma day after training, I head straight over to the mosque, and that's it. So we're gonna go in, say my prayers. And we'll continue the day after that. I am your tender. Now that's one of the protector sponsors at CBR Management Army. My name Yeah, so um, we're back. We're back indoors. Um, we went to the, after training, we went to the mosque, prayed, because it's Juma prayer, like I was saying before, Fridays. And then I went to my halal shop to buy my, my meat. And um, I got prawns as well. Don't know what I'm making yet, but we'll figure something out. Yeah, so that's it. And now, usually I'll just take a nap for about two hours, feel fresh again, um, get up and, and pray. But we're not, we're not there yet. I think because I like eating light when I first break my fast and heavier later in the in the night, so I might just make a fajita wrap or ramen noodles with prawns. When do you start using the standard fitness protocol? I would say about twelve. Not most of all, yeah, but, but yeah, just before the last one I started, I started using it. And uh, even after my dad, I kept up using it um, every day. It helped a lot with training as well, because usually I'll have an okay sleep, go training, feeling a bit leggy, a bit tired. But yeah, it helped me sleep better. I've had deeper sleeps with these as well. I think the other products I've used, I like. Quick fix and not not really long term. With this, it's easy to take, it's easy to carry as well. I can just put one in my wash bag when I'm going trading. Um, and it, it, it just feels natural. I mean, it just feels natural. I don't feel like I'm putting anything in my body that that's not meant to be there. You know what I mean? And um, recently as well, I've got the, the oil, which um, essential fats, if it helps with inflammation and obviously I'm struggling with a bit of injury at the moment mm -hmm. my, with my hip which probably ruled out the season for me and I'll be back before pre-season 100% but with this I think I've got it at the right time I think this is the time that I need it the most Hydrate sensei helps you with? Recovery, mm -hmm. recovery and uh, um, hydration during the day and obviously, yeah, in, in Ramadan as well, what athletes struggle with is to stay hydrated. When you have your last meal or your first meal in the morning, you have you drink a lot of water and by the time it gets to like 10 a.m. you've gained a little bit over the toilet, you know what I mean? But with this, I feel like, well, it showed last year because we've done hydration tests and when I started using these, I was more hydrated prior to than I was prior to using it and I stayed hydrated for a longer period of time as well. This was the magic, the injury magic. <laughs> uh, it says it, it says uh, it helps with inflammation and right now I think if I could pick the most important thing that I need at the moment it would it would be that just because of the injury. 
if I wasn't if I wasn't having these, I'll probably be asleep right now. <laughs> Cause I'll be finished completely drained. Um, like I said, ever since I tried it last Ramadan, it was the easiest Ramadan I've had prior to the rest. And I'll say today as well, this so far has been easier than the previous was. But I would say this like gives me the the edge over other athletes athletes that are not using it because. In Ramadan, every Muslim athlete struggles to sleep because you've got to be up at night to have your meals. Obviously, from the outside looking in, it looks like you just get up in the morning and go training, and then you're fasting for the whole day, and you, you come home and eat as much as you can, and then go to sleep, wake up next morning and go training. That's not how it is. Um, for maybe some people do it like that, and if you do, then you probably struggle a lot. Well, thank you for letting us follow you along with new day in life sets. Hopefully these products help and yeah, wish you the best in your recovery. Thank you very much. Um, so it's if time. That's what I've got there, croissant and a chai tea. I have these. I'll pray in my group. And I'll have something like so today I've got ramen. You probably can't see it, but I'm gonna have um, ramen this is like Thank you.